Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a super common but often misunderstood condition otitis media, or as many people know it, a middle ear infection. Whether you're a parent dealing with a child who keeps tugging at their ear, or an adult experiencing unexpected ear pain, this video is for you. We'll talk about what otitis media is, why it happens, how to spot it, and of course, how to treat and prevent it. So, let's get started. Otitis media, causes, symptoms, treatment and prevention. What is otitis media? Let's begin with the basics, what exactly is otitis media? Otitis media is an infection or inflammation of the middle ear that's the space right behind the eardrum. It's especially common in young children but can occur in people of any age. There are actually several types of otitis media, but the most common one is called acute otitis media, which typically develops suddenly and causes pain and inflammation. There's also otitis media with effusion where fluid remains in the middle ear even after the infection clears up, and chronic suppurative otitis media, a more long-lasting condition that can involve persistent drainage from the ear. The Anatomy Behind It To understand otitis media, let's quickly talk about the anatomy of the ear. Your ear has three parts, the outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The middle ear is connected to the back of the nose and upper throat by a small tube called the eustachian tube. This tube helps balance air pressure and drain fluids from the middle ear. When this tube becomes blocked due to allergies, a cold, sinus infection, or even enlarged adenoids it can cause fluid to build up in the middle ear, creating the perfect environment for bacteria or viruses to grow. And that, folks, leads to otitis media. What causes it? So what causes otitis media? The most common triggers are Bacterial infections, like Streptococcus pneumoniae or Haemophilus influenza. Viral infections, such as those from colds or flu. Allergies causing inflammation and fluid buildup. Environmental factors like exposure to cigarette smoke. Bottle feeding in babies, especially while lying down. Children are more prone because their eustachian tubes are shorter, more horizontal, and narrower than those of adults. This makes it easier for germs to travel and for the tubes to get blocked. Symptoms to look for. Now let's talk about symptoms. In children, look out for Ear pain, especially when lying down Tugging or pulling at the ear Trouble sleeping or irritability Fluid draining from the ear Fever Loss of appetite Difficulty hearing or responding to sounds In adults, symptoms may include A sharp Aching pain in the ear. Muffled hearing. A feeling of fullness or pressure in the ear. Drainage from the ear. Occasional dizziness. If you or your child experiences any of these signs, especially if they're severe or persistent, it's best to see a healthcare provider. Diagnosis. Diagnosis of otitis media is usually straightforward. A doctor will use an instrument called an otoscope to look inside the ear. They'll check for Redness or bulging of the eardrum Fluid behind the eardrum Perforation or pus drainage In some cases, a hearing test or a tympanometry a test that measures eardrum movement may be done to assess fluid levels and pressure. Treatment Options Here's the good news most cases of otitis media resolve on their own without antibiotics. 
For mild cases, especially in children over 2, doctors might recommend rest fluids pain relievers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen warm compresses for ear pain close monitoring over a few days but if symptoms are severe don't improve or the patient is very young antibiotics may be prescribed amoxicillin is a common first-line antibiotic if fluid remains in the ear for weeks or infections keep coming back, doctors might suggest ear tubes tiny tubes inserted into the eardrum to help drain fluid and prevent future infections. Adenoidectomy removing enlarged adenoids that are blocking the eustachian tubes. Surgical drainage in rare, severe cases with complications. And remember never give aspirin to children or teens recovering from viral infections, as it can lead to a rare but serious condition called Rye's syndrome. Possible Complications While otitis media is usually not serious, untreated cases can lead to complications such as Hearing loss usually temporary but sometimes permanent if infections are frequent perforated eardrum mastoiditis an infection of the mastoid bone behind the ear meningitis very rare but potentially life-threatening speech or developmental delays in children due to hearing problems so even though it seems like a simple ear infection timely treatment and monitoring are important prevention tips Let's talk about how to prevent otitis media especially helpful for parents. Wash hands frequently to reduce the spread of germs. Keep up with vaccinations including the flu shot and pneumococcal vaccine. Avoid exposing children to secondhand smoke. If bottle feeding, do it upright, not lying down. Treat allergies to reduce nasal and ear inflammation. For kids with frequent infections, ear tubes can reduce recurrence. Breastfeeding for at least six months can also help reduce the risk of ear infections in babies. Common Myths Let's bust a few common myths around otitis media. Myth, all ear infections need antibiotics. Truth, many clear up on their own especially if caused by viruses myth ear infections always cause fever truth some may not cause fever at all especially in adults myth pulling on the ear is always a sign of infection truth babies might tug at their ears for many reasons teething fatigue or even just exploring myth if there's no pain, it's not serious. Truth, otitis media with a fusion often causes no pain but can still affect hearing. Friendly and supportive tone. And that wraps up our deep dive into otitis media. Whether you're dealing with it yourself or helping a little one through it, the key is knowing what to look for and when to get help. Most ear infections are treatable and manageable and with the right care, they rarely lead to complications. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and share it with anyone who could benefit. Drop your questions or experiences in the comments below we love hearing from you. Until next time, take care, stay healthy and keep those ears happy.